Compassion fatigue, these are caregivers, and you all are caregivers. You're financial relationship managers, but you're also caregivers. I know that about you all. I know that's what you do here. You care about people's lives. You care about their families. So we're going to call you caregivers today. You are caregivers. And a caregiver is someone who listens compassionately to someone's story. And Jamie was talking about that earlier. When I was at, in, in New York for 9-11, I listened to stories, heart-wrenching stories. We took, uh, we took uh, the families to the site from the ferries from New Jersey over to the 9-11 to the site, the bombing site. And we took the families because that was going to be the last place they saw their loved ones. It's almost like taking them to a funeral. But then after we finished the, the journey to the site, we went back to the Liberty State National Park and we took them through all the services. But guess what we were hearing throughout the whole time? Now, I'm a psychologist, okay? I'm a caregiver. That doesn't absolve me from not being effective. You know, people say, well, how can you do what you do? I do what I do, but I also have to take care of myself. A caregiver, though, is very, very susceptible to what they call compassion fatigue. But when we watch these stories and we hear in these visuals and we see these things and we hear these things, it affects us. It, we can't help it not let it affect us. The body, the brain doesn't know what's real and doesn't, it, it doesn't know. If you hear a story, it doesn't know whether it's real or not. I could tell you a story right now, it might not be real, but it's going to affect you. What are you going to do with that? It's going to go somewhere in your body, okay? You've had a client come in, and they just told you the most devastating thing in the world that's happened to them. You've known them for years. They're sobbing. They're crying. They're at your desk. They're in your office. You are, you are basically taking all of that in, and it affects you. It's very, very, it's going to affect you. You're human. Again, we're all connected. So compassion fatigue is basically when people become exhausted. <clears throat> they, this, you can only be so compassionate for so long and all of a sudden you're just overwhelmed. Anger, by the way, is important. It's an important emotion. People that say, I don't lose my temper and I never, ever, I, I never get emotional. Well, they're, they're a time bomb because it, it's important to have our emotions. Anger is an important, it's an important emotion. Depression is also very therapeutic, too. It allows the person to truly understand the reality of their situation so they can do something about it. Believe it or not, depression can have a great function 